An object is dropped from a height of 6 meters. Write a function that models the height of the object and use it to calculate the object's height one second after it is dropped. Let's begin with the given formula that models height in terms of time. Here we'll let t represent the time in seconds after the object has been dropped. And the formula that models this is height in terms of time here is given to be negative one half g t squared plus v naught times t plus s naught. Now g is the acceleration due to gravity. And because the problem is given in metric units, we'll use metric units for this and that is 9.8 meters per second squared. Now v naught represents the initial velocity. And because the object is dropped, the initial velocity here is zero meters per second. S naught represents the initial height, and that's given to be six meters. So we'll use these constants in the formula to create a model. Okay, so in this case for g, we'll substitute 9.8 for v naught, we'll substitute zero, and for s naught, we'll substitute six. And that gives us the model h of t equals negative one half times 9.8 leaves us with negative 4.9 t squared. Zero times t is just zero, and then plus six. Now we'll use this function to determine the height of the object one second after it is dropped. And so we need to calculate h of one. And we'll replace every instance of t with a one. And this leaves us with negative 4.9 plus six, which equals 1.1. And therefore, at one second after the object is dropped, it will have a height of 1.1 meters.